y'all. Welcome to Sweet Southern Living. We are here in Johnny's RV Resort. It's Johnny's Lakeside RV Resort here in Foley, Alabama. And we are staying on site number D2. And we're going to walk around and uh, show you a little bit of the park. So again, this is, we're in section D. This little red building here is the bathhouse and the laundry, uh, laundry room. We have a nice view of the lake from our site. It's early morning here. You can hear the birds singing. The fountain lights up at night. It's really pretty. I think they let you do catch and release here on the lake. It has a little gazebo and a uh, dog walk here. You can see they have the waste station there. And this is section C. And back there, like I said, is section D. We'll walk over here to the laundry room. They have a good size laundry room here. They have a folding table, three washers and dryers, and an ironing board, which is pretty unique for a campground. And I mentioned this is where the bathhouses are. Both of them had people in them, so obviously I didn't go in there. To this section straight ahead is section F. These two here in the back are F. 10 and 11. They look a little difficult to get into, but um, they are sites. And then the little blue house there uh, on the map, it says Lake House. It's what they call their clubhouse. And they have billards in there. They do campground activities in there. Uh, it's been locked. I think you can go to the desk and um, ask for the key, but we haven't done that. This is a really um, nice area to walk early in the morning. You can see there's hardly anybody out here. It is kind of early, but um, I like to get out and walk early. Beautiful place to take some pictures. This, this is a really scenic view right here. Seen lots of folks taking um, pictures here against this railing. So like I said, this is the clubhouse and it is locked right now. So straight ahead, the little teal building on the left, that's the office, so that's where you check in. So this is the office, this is where you actually enter, that's how we put the on right there. So, this is where you enter, and this is the beginning of campground. So the one thing about this part, the sites are pretty close together. Most of them are long enough to at least keep your truck on. Some of them, like ours, are long enough that we've got our truck and the car sitting on them. But they're very close to the neighbor. It's not a huge part, but for the small amount of acreage they have. They have a lot of campers packed in here. They do 
do have a good bit of shade, which is nice in the summertime. They have a lot of very large oak trees. They also have it landscaped with some a lot of palm trees, which gives you that beachy feel since you are down here on the coast. So these are pull-throughs. So these are just more back ends. And then as you get back here, you begin to see the pool area which is, at least in the summertime, I think, why most people stay here. So here's a couple of empty spots just to give you an idea. So this is H1 and H2. They have a little small picnic table. They are full hookup. They do have some ducks. They're usually over by the pond. Good morning. So here's the pool area. They have a lazy river over there. You can see the triple slide. Let's walk around the other side and I'll show you the playground part. They have a lakeside grill. I don't think it's open right now. We came up the other night and the other evening and it wasn't open, but I'll double check on that. Here are the rest of the campsites back here in the back. And a little extra parking. Back of the slides. Have a little concession stand. There's a basketball goal short one. And they do have a playground. bicycle rack, a couple of tables for you to sit at to eat. A little shaded tiki hut. And there's the lazy room. You can sit out on the island, float down the river, have a little tiki bar. We do have floats for you to use, so you don't even have to bring your own. And you can see the water moving pretty good. Okay, so. Nice little swimming area. And again, you can see the campers. It's like uh, about four rows deep back here, I believe. They're about the same as the other. They're pretty close together. But they do accommodate big rigs.
I didn't walk this whole section, but this is the I, J, K, L, M, and N section. And then the O is back there on that back row. So I did just want to show you what they look like. And then this is County Road 28, the side road off of 59 that also has an entrance. And this is row A. This is A1 through 19. Actually, we're going backwards 19 down to 1. Uh, but it's the other side of this. These are the pull-throughs, and the other side is the main road that comes in in front of the lake. And like I said, they're all pull-throughs. They have a good bit of shade on these. That's that row right there. And they just, they vary in size. Some of them are really close together, and some of them have a little bit more room, but... Okay, we're coming up on the end of the campground tour. This is the front entrance. So overall, this is a decent campground. It's in a good location if you're looking for some place uh, close to the beach. And they have, you know, that great pool area. A lot of families like that. They are pet friendly and they have a lot of good amenities. The only thing that we had trouble with that may prevent us from staying here again was the lack of Wi-Fi. Um, they do... They have Wi-Fi, but it was almost non-existent for us. And at the time of this video, we had Verizon, and we did not have good coverage uh, with Verizon at all. So um, those are biggies with us working from home. So that would probably prevent us from staying here again. But other than that, it's a nice campground and definitely worth checking out if you're in the area. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, um, let us know. And hope to see you next time.